Well, good morning, Michael Patrick. Great to be on with you. Where'd you catch fireworks this weekend? You know, I was actually in uh, northern Isabella County, uh, uh, just north of Beale City. A uh, nice uh, small display, but it was uh, nice to get a nice to get a couple days uh, to uh, for a little R and R. Yeah, when when you go around to the Tullymore event this weekend, for instance, the the Sumatra tour event or the fireworks in Isabella County and so forth, and you run into constituents, do, what do they want to talk to you about? Well, right now, uh, most of the discussions that I'm having with constituents are about road funding. And, uh, you know, the uh, conversation is continuing about how are we going to fix the roads. And uh, that's actually what uh, I'll be in Lansing today, uh, having a lot of discussions uh, related to that topic. What, uh, you know, it would be nice one day when we can talk about something else, but you're right. That is the, the topic of the moment and has been for years, literally, in the state of Michigan here. But it yeah. seems like maybe what yard line are we on into getting this over into the end zone, if you were to put it in football terms? Yeah, no, I think that's a good analogy. I, I think we're getting closer. Uh, we're, we're right now we're at a situation where we really have three plans on the table. Uh, here going back uh, about three, four weeks ago, uh, in the House we passed a plan. Uh, the Senate at that time has, has passed a plan as well. And uh, the governor has had a plan on the table for uh, a few years now. So uh, now that each, you know, each uh, body has acted and then put forth a plan, now it's time to to see can we come to some consensus and then, so I, I look at that as a very positive step uh, the fact that uh, you know we're, we're seeing movement uh, there, there's still some separation uh, between the plans though and so that's uh, really now what we're trying to hammer out so are we, are we in the red zone are we on the five yard line How, can you can you see it gosh if I had to say well we're not in the red zone yet I would say we're probably at about midfield wow okay ways to go then for sure a ways to go but uh, you know I think uh, I've been using the football analogy uh, myself, and, and I think that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to make some first downs here. Uh, you know, we're not going to throw the Hail Mary pass uh, anytime soon, I don't think, but uh, it, we're going to try to get the first downs on the ground where we can. And, uh, you know, I, I think going back to this last budget, uh, that was beyond the first down, but we put an additional $400 million toward roads that will be in there uh, for the next fiscal year, so next construction season. I think that's a very significant step, uh, but it is bad. It's just a step, and uh, we're not, uh, not yet in the end zone. So you, are you sitting with Senator Meekoff today? Uh, you know, I will be uh, with him this week. Uh, we will be together uh, here within the next day or two. What is one item on which you will refuse to be flexible? Well, I, I don't have any of those items. No? Um, I, I have said from the beginning I'm, I'm truly committed to solving the problem. And so uh, what I mean by that is I'm not taking anything off of the table. Uh, you know, this is something that when you have an issue – this big, I mean, it's just a large issue to tackle. We have to, ultimately, in the House, we have to find 56 votes. And uh, as the leader of the House, uh, I'm going to be a part of the solution. And uh, we don't know just yet what that looks like in the end. Uh, opinions vary greatly. Just like uh, this weekend, the conversations I was having with constituents, people are really all over the board. You know, some that are willing to uh, pay more in the way of taxes and fees and others that say find it from within. And uh, I think that's reflective of our caucus as well. So my job is to lead and, and to find, uh, you know, that end uh, solution that, that we can get 56 votes behind. Which part of the Senate version was least palatable to you? Well, I, I would say the least palatable is the, the new taxes on gasoline. Uh, what would be a uh, 15 cent when it's phased in over a period of three years uh, gas tax increase. That's what's getting the most attention right now, uh, both from constituents and from uh, our members, uh, but there are some areas uh, that we agreed upon. Uh, as you look at uh, the general fund dedication, taking about seven hundred million dollars from the general fund, and uh, you know I call that reprioritization. It's taking money that is there currently, uh, taking it away from um, other areas and putting it under roads, and saying that okay, our roads are going to be a priority. So that that's a significant area of agreement uh, that we have with the Senate, and so I want to use that as a building block and say what else can we uh, what else can we agree upon. Only 30 seconds are, go, uh, are left uh, in the segment here, but the, basically the letter you wrote to the president supports Delta Airlines would save jobs in Michigan and uh, sort of combat what's an unfair advantage for some of the Gulf Airlines? Yeah, you know, and what that is is it's really about looking out for Delta, which has been a great partner uh, for Michigan. You look in with them having the, the hub at Detroit Metro. Uh, it's a significant uh, impact on our state. Uh, uh, from the money into the economy and the jobs, certainly. And so we want to do whatever we can to uh, to help Delta. We want to see them thrive and, and remain here in Michigan. Sure, appreciate that very much. And the time this morning, too. We'll see you back here in the state capitol this morning.